Welcome back to Andy's Guide. In today's video, we are going to show you how to create a mask layer in any shape here in Webflow. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in Webflow, I want you to click the sign up option and from there just follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go. Creating a mask layer in any shape here in Webflow is a powerful design technique that can be used for various reasons. Now, I want you to click on the Open Designer and from there, let's work on the uh, file because masks will allow you to control the visibility of elements on a specific shape which can enhance your website's visual appeal and functionality. Now. For us to be able to create mask layer in any shape, I need you to go to the apps section on the dashboard. That's going to be on the left side panel. I want you to search clip, all right, clip path bay. You see, it can clip complex shapes without any code. Just click on it, all right? Now, as you can see, it's a tool for adding ready built clip paths to your website assets, including CSS polygon, ellipse, and circle functions. In addition, you can upload your own SVG exported from software like Figma or Illustrator. All right, all I'm gonna do is edit and read access the sounds on your behalf. Click on that and click on the. Uh, now, when the when clip path bay is already installed, I want you to click on launch. So there's gonna be a pop up window, wherein you can of course choose now this image here actually is just a guide to the actual image that you're working with all right so i'm going to change this into that so let's just play let's just play along all right and if i click the uh, clip it uh, button here you see that one it applied to the actual image at the background so let's undo that we're not gonna do that all right there's an option below that says show outside cliff path you see that one all right so let's start from there and let's work our way around here now you can use circle of course obviously if you do that clip it that changes right i'm gonna click undo you also have an option for the ellipse trapezoid parallelogram Pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon. And basically, you have multiple options here. Now, I'm going to add another image down below. I'll click on the asset. All right, so let's try to use this one. Okay, so I'm going to go to the uh, um, uh, pentagon. I'm going to work this one out, maybe this one, and clip it. You see that one? What happened to Andy? Lost his head. <laughs> I'm going to undo that. Basically, you get the gist, right? Because using the mask allows you to integrate branding elements into your design in creative ways. For example, you can mask this logo to the brand pattern into different shapes and, of course, align with your brand's identity, right? So there's a lot that you can do here because normally designers and graphic artists incorporate mask layers in webflow to enhance their websites design it with creative and visually engaging elements that improves aesthetics functionality and user experience that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one